Welcome to part 24 of Resident Evil 4. In the previous episode, we took down Krauser. Mercifully. Not quite. Leon kind of slaughtered him. But not before him giving Leon a couple of bruises in the process. Today, however, we're back on the trail to search for Ashley. Again! It's a helicopter, Leon. What do you think it was? Oh god, and that pilot behind the helicopter is hella pissed. Technically, you old Mike one because he's the one doing the shit. Helicopter Mike will guide Leon through the next couple of segments. And by God, are the next few sections really a shit show. Tons of enemies, tons of traps that will just shred your health like nothing else. Especially one scene where Mike has his hands tight with a ground threat. So you have to deal with that threat along with the tens of enemies around you. Okay, this part right here, you want to be careful with the enemies coming up the ladder if you want to use the turret. In fact, no, just tell the turret to go fuck itself. Not surprised anymore. Now, Mike will do his part in clearing out the enemies, and he does a really damn good job of doing that. Whenever he's not attacking enemies, that probably just means he's getting attacked himself. Down you go! <laughs> Too bad I didn't knock the ladder down, it's all attached to the wall and shit. Okay, let's just make Leon's life easier here. Either the grenade worked and took some of them out, or it didn't take anybody out and they're just that tough. Let's use Krauser's knife. Now the good thing about the fighting knife is that it cannot break. You don't even have to upgrade it or anything. The problem is, Leon kind of sucks at swinging compared to Krauser. The pilot forced a way forward and probably left a massive body count in the process. I am actually recording this the day after the announcement of the Separate Ways DLC. Capcom's finally gone around to Ada's campaign, <laughs> it's about time. By the time this video comes out, the DLC will most likely be available. And yes, I am planning on doing Separate Ways, I will be playing it for the channel sometime in October. I have to fit it around two other projects. No, I'm not telling you what those two other projects are yet. You have to wait two more episodes for that. In other words, four more days. I, I'm so sorry about that. Don't have to tell me twice. Helicopter Mike is perhaps one of the best side characters in all of Capcom history. And this is the same company that brought us the Green Biker Dude, the ultimate badass. Rest in paradise, you beautiful jade robot. But um, Mike here has more of a personality in the remake, and a different accent. In the original version, I can't really describe Mike's voice. I, I'm guessing it's supposed to be a Jersey sounding accent in which I nickname him Jersey Mike because of this, <laughs> but I'm not sure if it is supposed to be a New Jersey accent. This Mike sounds more distinctly rural American as opposed to being of Italian lineage. And also, this Mike is just way funnier. With lines like, sorry, bad traffic, and I gotta take a piss anyway, I'm like, where was, where was this version of Mike at in the original 2005 game?
Yeah, I got a bathroom on board the helicopter. Let me just put on autopilot. Here's the major dilemma. Mike has to egress temporarily because of anti-air fire. We need to find some heavy artillery of our own to blow up the AA gun. But keep in mind, there are other Ganados in the area targeting you. And I think, don't quote me on this, but I think you have to deal with the gun in a timely fashion too. You take too long and the pilot will get destroyed and you'll fail the mission. Because somehow that happening sooner than expected is some sort of time paradox, apparently. <laughs> we can't have Mike die 2.2 seconds before he's actually slated to die, that's just not right. But yeah, as you can see right here, I'm trying to weave through the corridors in order to not get caught out in the open. Because there's a guy on a turret that will kill you very quickly if you get in front of him. In fact, a whole lot of crap in this section, especially on the higher difficulties, will just drop you down to one health. If not, just flat out kill you in one hit, so you gotta be careful. Run up the stairs right here, and you'll get to the gun you need to destroy the AA gun with. Yeah, AA guns. Remember those things from Ace Combat that do like one damage per hit, but the damage stocks up really quickly, so if you stay in a straight line, you pretty much die instantly. There's the guy. Oh! <laughs> Thank God for invincibility. But yeah, what you need to do here is take the guy with the rocket launcher out, as well as the anti-air gun, as they are the largest threat to the helicopter. Here's part two of the plan to take over. Oh, now you guys show up. The next part is honestly where things get pretty insane. It's one of the harder parts of the game. This is where Mike runs out of ammo and Leon has to fight his way through a heavily fortified checkpoint. The checkpoint in question has a guy on a turret as well as a bunch of goons backing him up. There is, however, a way to deal with the side enemies while hiding from the turret. We're coming upon the hard part, but before that, you'll have a bunch of lower level enemies to get items back from. And Mike's off for now. So we gotta deal with these guys first and then it's on to the real heavy hitter. I make this part look sort of easy, and I still get hit a lot, that's saying something, but this part is not easy. This section will trip up a first time player. It gets pretty insane, but I'm gonna try and pull off a strategy here. But first, I wanna check around the area for more stuff. Really, you're still alive?
Alright, here's what you want to do. The guy on the turret's gonna shoot in volleys. You need to move as he's taking a break from shooting. Keep moving, but don't stall because there's a second turret on the far right side. Get behind this ladder and you'll get behind the first turret. And friendly neighborhood sniper is up here too. I wasn't expecting that. Let me deal with these guys real quick. And you're also not safe from the ladder. Ganados will try to climb up the ladders too. A good strategy for that, as long as I'm not getting shot up too much, thank god for body armor. You want to stay in this corner. The hallway does reach back a bit and it's a dead end, so you're pretty much safe. He knew Leon was going to kick the shit out of him. That's why he fell over. He wanted to be spared the embarrassment. After thinning out the herd, go after the opposite gunner. And once he's out of the picture, that's when a brute will show up. And of course, you want to make sure that no other Ganados get on either of the two turrets while you're dealing with the big guy. Area clear for now. Time to flick the switch. There are two switches you need to activate in order to open the big door. Turn this on real quick and that's when the brute will come out. And you can either fight the brute or just leave them be and go for the other switch. You don't necessarily have to fight the brute, but I do it anyway. Why? Because, I don't know, everything just needs to die here. And I also want the red barrel of the brute drops upon death. Gemstones are just simply amazing, you know? But yeah, we got guys with dynamite again. Oh great, I always love when those guys make an appearance. But with this part, I'm just gonna try and run around like crazy. They'll never catch me like this. Ow. Oh, somebody caught me. Fuck! If anybody was on the turret, I'd probably be dead already. Oh, hello. Hey, there's a brute. I was wondering where you were at. The dude has a gun arm, so you want to be careful and not get too far into his range when he's about to fire. Which I'm failing to do. What the fuck are you doing past me? Oh, it's a good thing I didn't die there. Even though Leon looks completely messed up. Holy crap. <laughs> there's no way There's no way a human being should look like that and survive. But of course the injuries heal themselves rather quickly like Leon's Wolverine or something. That guy just set himself on fire? But I find it kind of strange that the developers actually made an entry model of Leon, but it heals quickly so it doesn't actually stay on the character model for that long. Like why don't they show the detail for a little bit longer than two seconds or something? Now you can parry the machine gun fire. As ridiculous as it sounds, you can actually do that, but I recommend not to. Because you need to time your button presses accordingly. If you miss, then you're probably gonna die. I don't care about the arrow, I just need to blow up the big guy. I can shoot his gun arm to destroy that, and that will cripple him a bit. There we go. Not quite missing an arm, but that will stop his gun from working at least. Still got the kicks though. He's got major kicks. <laughs> like right there. Good thing he missed. You dead. Let me get the gold barrel and make my way to the other switch. Sweet. Now we got a couple more Ganados in the area, but they're just cannon fodder, so they'll go down very quickly.
These guys seem to be afraid of doorways. Can't say I blame them. Oh no, we lost Not So Jersey Mike. No. I'm surprised that Leon said the same line he did from the original. I'll make sure you're the next to go, Sattler. Oh, you just pissed Leon off now. He's out of a drinking buddy. Who's he gonna drink with now? Sure as hell ain't Ada. Or Ashley. Or Hunt again. And we'll see if Hunk is available. But this part right here... Which I think I just spent two or three minutes just wandering about. So kind of a bit of a briefer before things heat up again, but still, I don't know why I wandered around for that long. You do have a couple of treasures in this location, as well as five medallions. Again, it's always those damn blue medallions. And these medallions are the hardest to locate by far. Some are in the usual spots like, you know, look up and down, and others are just in what the fuck areas. <laughs> Even with the map, you're just unsure of where to look. So this one is easy to find. The other two or three are going to be harder to spot. Like that medallion in the black area. Like what? <laughs> Am I supposed to use a sniper rifle for that? Well, apparently that's the case. I don't know. But um, there's going to be a treasure somewhere around here. It's going to be in a cavern, and it's the Staff of Royalty. And it's just as regal as it sounds. Oh, look at that. That that just looks phenomenal right there. Too bad it's only a prop to be sold. And here's the tombstone of a Keenan Sattler. Probably a brother or cousin of Osman Sattler, the main villain of the game. But hopefully we don't have to fight Keenan too. We just have to deal with Osman at the moment. So let's fast forward a bit so we can make some progress and get to the merchant. Okay, I was expecting the merchant, but we got body bags here. And a regenerator! Not one of these again. Probably the hardest regular enemies to deal with, especially the spiky types. So I'm gonna try and cripple them so they don't move as freely, and just go to town on their cores. Yeah, jeez, see what I mean when I said a couple of parts ago that the skin sometimes acts as a shield? Because sometimes you put half a clip into the core and sometimes it just doesn't register.
There we go. Man, that was specific. <laughs> I still can't get over the bloody explosions. And now there's going to be another regenerator somewhere around here. And I think this one is the spiky type, but I'm not too sure. You can just run around this one if you want. Which is what I do, actually. I'm almost out of ammo, actually, so I gotta conserve stuff. In fact, I'm almost out of everything, so I really need to be careful for this one. Anyway, there's going to be another treasure in the side rooms, and that is going to be the Splendid Bangle. Another Splendid Bangle, that is. It's going to be in this room. And seeing as we have a couple of rectangular gems, we can fit it onto the bangle. Now I'm not sure if the different gemstones have different values between each of them. Like maybe the red barrel will cost 2,000 and then the emerald will cost 3,000. Or if they're just the same across the board. I have to look that up. It's It's been a while, okay? But as we're getting closer and closer to the end of the game and we pretty much got all of our weapons, there's really not too much we can buy at the moment. Except for the rocket launcher. I'm still working on it. It needs to be bought. Snakes this late into the game? I don't even think the original did that. The second regenerator is going to come through one of these body bags. Oh, there it is. And I, I'm going to try and ignore him for the most part. But first I need to stun him. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I'm going to have to run all the way around here. Make sure I drag his ass over in the meantime. And hopefully I can stun him on the other side. Okay, come here, you bastard. It really doesn't help that these body bags are here because it blocks shots. And with a creature that already kind of blocks shots with its skin, it's kind of more of an annoyance than it has to be. Well, maybe I do destroy this thing. Huh, it looks like I was proven wrong. No, I was proven right the first time. <laughs> I better stick with my first plan. I'm getting the fuck out of here. The only thing that's worse than being a prick is meeting a prick. Oh, he's speed running this shit. Oh, he's got a light hustle. I better light hustle too before I'm dead. Well, that was something. Pfft. I could have killed that regenerator had it not had an extra life. Cheating bitch. Anyway, stay tuned for part 25. See you then. Oh, and also, Killer7. Buy this weapon. For the love of God, buy this weapon. But uh, I'll talk more about that in the next part. What can I do you for? Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? Might save your life. I'll buy almost it. <laughs> Thank you. Good as new. Good luck to you, stranger. Anything else I can help you with? Come back anytime.